In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet writing linear equations. I'll leave a link in the description below so you know how to access this worksheet. We're going to split this worksheet up into three videos, and in the first video, we're going to do what the first direction tells us. Write the slope-intercept form of the equation of each line. So this will be numbers 1 through 8. And as a quick reminder, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in number 1, we have 3x minus 2y equals a negative 16. We need to isolate the y, so we're going to start by moving the 3x to the other side. When we subtract by 3x, we're left with negative 2y on the left-hand side, and then negative 3x plus a negative 16, and that's on the right-hand side. And you can tell we're almost there, except y cannot have a coefficient, so we're just going to divide by negative 2. When we divide by negative 2, we'll have a positive y on the left, and then we're going to split this fraction. So we'll have negative 3x over negative 2 plus negative 16 over negative 2. Negative 3x over negative 2 plus negative 16 over negative 2. Now we're going to simplify. y equals negative 3 over negative 2 is simply a positive 3 over 2, so this will be 3 halves times x plus negative 16 divided by negative 2. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So in slope-intercept form, 3x minus 2y equals negative 16 is y equals 3 halves x plus 8. Moving on to number 2, we're going to start by subtracting 13x. That'll leave us with negative 11y on the left, and then we'll have negative 13x plus a negative 12, or you can leave it as minus 12, whatever you prefer. Now to isolate the y, we're just going to divide by negative 11. We'll have a positive y on the left hand side, and then we're going to split this again. So we'll have negative 13 over negative 11, which is a positive 13 over 11 times x. And then that's going to be added to negative 12 over negative 11, which is positive 12 over 11. And neither of those fractions can be simplified. So y equals 13 elevenths x plus 12 elevenths is the answer for number 2. In number 3, we're going to subtract 9x from both sides. Doing that will leave us with negative 7y on the left and negative 9x plus negative 7 on the right. Then we'll divide everything by negative 7. We'll have y on the left hand side and then 9 over 7 times x plus negative 7 over negative 7, which is a positive 1. y equals 9 sevenths x plus 1 is the solution for number 3. And if you get confused when you're splitting this fraction, just break it down. Write out negative 9x over negative 7 plus negative 7 over negative 7, and then simplify to reach your equation. Number 4, x minus 3y equals 6. Subtract x from both sides. We'll have negative 3y equals negative x plus 6. Divide both sides by negative 3 to get that y is equal to a negative over a negative is a positive, and the coefficient with this x is 1. So we'll have 1 third times x plus 6 
over negative 3 is going to be negative 2. So y equals 1 third x plus negative 2, or you can say y equals 1 third x minus 2. And number 5, 6x plus 5y equals negative 15. We're going to start by subtracting 6x from both sides. We'll be left with 5y on the left-hand side of the equation, and then negative 6x plus negative 15 on the right. Divide both sides by that positive 5, which is the coefficient of y. Then we'll be left with y on the left-hand side, negative 6 fifths x plus negative 15 over positive 5 is a negative 3. y equals negative 6 fifths x plus negative 3, or you can say y equals negative 6 fifths x minus 3. In number 6, I'm going to show you another way. You don't necessarily have to start with subtracting the x from both sides. We need to isolate this y, but we can do so by adding y to both sides. When we do that, we'll be left with 4x on the left, and that's going to be equal to 1 plus y. But remember, we're isolating this y, so now we're just going to move the 1 to the other side. So subtract 1 from both sides, and you'll get 4x minus 1, or plus a negative 1, equals y. Now, if you want it in the exact form of y equals mx plus b, just flip the equation. y equals 4x minus 1, or plus a negative 1. And there you have the solution for number 6. In number 7, 11x minus 4y equals 32. I'm going to start by subtracting 11x. We'll have negative 4y equal to negative 11x plus a positive 32. Our next step will be to divide by that negative 4 to get y isolated. We'll be left with y on the left hand side and that will be equal to negative 11x over negative 4 plus 32 over negative 4. The negative 11x over negative 4 is the same as a positive 11 fourths x, and then 32 divided by negative 4 is going to be a negative 8. So y equals 11 fourths x minus 8 or plus a negative 8, however you prefer to write it, is the solution for number 7. And lastly for this video, number 8. But before I go over the answer to this, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now that you've done that, let's go over the answer. We're going to subtract 11x from both sides, and we'll have negative 8y equaling negative 11x plus a negative 48. Divide both sides by negative 8, and we'll be left with y on the left, and that will equal negative 11 over negative 8 times x, which is 11 eighths x plus negative 48 over negative 8, which is a positive 6. So the answer for number 8 is y equals 11 eighths x plus 6. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.